just like that coverage of the State of the Union, divided down party mm -hmm. lines in America, polarized the controversial Tennessee bill that strips away local control over police reform is one step closer to becoming law tonight. Good evening, I'm Joe Burke. And I'm Joy Redmond. The Memphis lawmaker who sponsored that bill is being accused of betrayal and deceit by his fellow lawmakers and the family of Tyree Nichols. Action News 5's Joyce Peterson live in studio with details. Joyce. Yeah, Joy and Joe, State Rep John Gillespie is the chairman of the Shelby County delegation. 18 men and women from the Memphis area elected to serve in the State House and Senate. Gillespie, a Republican, getting heavily criticized by the Democrats in the delegation who are outraged he sponsored a bill that removes local control over police policy. Mr. Delegation Chair, I find it appalling that you would run this legislation. Everybody's a little shocked that this has come up today. What is it that brought you to this point? Democrats from Memphis taking Republican John Gillespie to task for sponsoring House Bill 1931, legislation that reverses the Memphis City Council's ban on these five traffic stops by police. You, as a person who lives in Shelby County, seek to undo the will of the people of Memphis and Shelby County. I have constituents, I have uh, neighbors, and I have members of the community that are begging, begging, begging for safer streets. And this will do exactly that. The city council passed the traffic stop ban after Tyree Nichols' deadly beating at the hands of Memphis police. Nichols' parents met with Representative Gillespie Monday in Nashville, asking him to reconsider legislation that impacts local police reform. They thought there'd be another meeting before the bill came back up for a vote. But they should have been shown deference because of the situation, the gravitas of the situation. Gillespie's bill passed Thursday, 68-24, along party lines. This is a no-brainer. A vote for this bill is a vote to back the blue. The Shelby County delegation quickly met behind closed doors to strategize. What this legislation does is take the ability away from local government and local bodies to be able to make sure that they are trying to keep people safe to the best of their ability. Nichols' family telling Action News 5 the legislation represents a dangerous step back in the fight for accountability, transparency, and justice within law enforcement. Next step for the bill, the Tennessee Senate. It is simply saying that there are certain state laws that have been on the books for a very long time and all we're saying is that local law enforcement has to enforce state law. There's nothing more to this legislation than, than just that. All right, so State Senator Brent Taylor, a Republican in the Shelby County delegation, sponsored the companion bill in the Senate. It has to pass in order for this legislation to become law. Right now, no date or time when the Tennessee Senate will discuss it. We'll keep you posted. Live in studio tonight, I'm Joyce Peterson. Joy, back to you. All right, Joy.